Canada's leaders in cybersecurity are getting their start this week in West Haven. This camp is really the starting point for all the amazing things that are to come in the future. University of New Haven is hosting its third Gen Cyber Agent Academy this week. 20 girls and 20 boys are getting hands-on experience like this session where they learn how to retrieve digital evidence. And speaking in code here... You forgot the semicolon. That's my bad. I thought I checked for that. Glove servers aren't case sensitive. ...is entirely acceptable. And hopefully, it, you know, really creating a spark that and an excitement to be in cybersecurity. So the best part of it for me is really um, making a difference in these kids' lives. And it, really, we do it because we want to pay it forward. Right now, we're kind of at a crossroads. Um, there's about 3.5 million job openings in cybersecurity by 2020. Wow. And, and yeah, so the demand is so much higher than the current supply. So we're really excited. This is our third year. Uh, we received a grant from the National Security Agency. And what we do is we give uh, kids an entire week of, uh, of learning what it's like to be in cybersecurity and why they should choose it as a major. Brute forcing! Yeah. Brute forcing! Yeah. Brute forcing! Yeah. Brute forcing! Yeah. I'm gonna make it rain! <laughs> Cybersecurity is a field that's really worth pursuing, especially in this day and age where information is everywhere and it's becoming more and more prevalent like by the day. I think it's a really awesome environment. We were given a Google Classroom before we came to camp and like kids started to introduce themselves and like already there's just a really nice sense of kind of community among the people here. So we have tons of hands-on throughout the entire camp from flying drones, investigating, taking apart a computer for a cyber forensics investigation, pulling data off of mobile phones to solve a crime. For the last two days, these kids have been learning how to pick locks, and they're pretty good. And this is part of cybersecurity is, I think, primarily to give them a real appreciation about how easy it is. You know, don't just count on that padlock. It's not going to do it. And we talk about layering security, and the kids learn how to hack passwords. They learn how people are collecting information from you to hack passwords. And all of this knowledge helps helps them, even if they never go into cybersecurity, to be better and safer citizens. Cyber Challenge is where our students compete. The reason why we've created that is because you cannot be a cybersecurity practitioner without the com competition mindset. You know, you're either going to be on the defensive side or on the offensive side, and maybe somewhere in between, but you can't do cybersecurity if you don't have a competitive spirit. So therefore, we have a cyber challenge towards the end of a camp and the students engage in this capture the flag style competition. Every camper has to use every scrap of information they've accumulated over the first five days to solve some incredibly difficult problems. You might have to write a piece of code, you might have to decrypt, you might have to use GPS. All of the skills that they learned in our classes come into play. This goes on for the entire morning and then in the afternoon we have our closing ceremony and the best teams are the first ones to pick prizes. And this is where they get to use the cyber bucks. They can buy uh, hints to help them. So everything they've done all week pays off on Saturday. I think this camp is gonna be incredibly beneficial for young adults or children sort of exploring um, cybersecurity and computer forensics. Um, I think it shows them realistically what it's like. Cybersecurity is a great career because the industry is always constantly changing, so you have to stay on your tools, you have to continue to learn and hone your skills. And once you develop that passion and you find your niche, the trajectory and the sky's the limit because you will never get bored or complacent with your work and you're continuous to grow and, and get better.
I wish everything was a level playing field, but it's not. There are underrepresented populations all over the workforce. I feel like cybersecurity is an, an equalizer in that endeavor. Everyone can actually find a home in cybersecurity and be able to make a living. There's such a need for talent that you can get a role paying well, you can actually be put to use in cybersecurity and be just one of the workforce. I'm from the Middle East. Um, I became a U.S. citizen five days ago. I value protecting our rights as American citizens. I value protecting um, the, the security of the world we live in today and the nation of the United States and this election process and everything else that comes with that. I am by default a diverse person having lived in so many different countries and because of that, um, because of me being diverse, because of my colleagues being diverse, the camp is diverse as well. Uh, we truly care about the camp being diverse. We have 20 boys and 20 girls from all different parts uh, of the world and we just want to keep bringing that to the table because cybersecurity is diverse. Uh, it allows for diversity and it's something that we want to continue to do given who we are and what we inspire to be. You know, I think right now there's a huge demand uh, for that computer security skill set. Our industry kind of has this pipeline problem. It's hard to get folks, you know, in high school interested in some sort of technical degree, much less computer security. Um, and so, you know, as a security professional, we need, you know, students, you know, you know, in this class to to become computer security professionals to fill those computer security job openings. Today's atmosphere uh, regarding just technology in general, it's very scary. Technology is advancing so fast, you know, that a lot of companies are just pushing out products and security ends up being kind of like an afterthought. And so a lot of hackers and you know, malicious individuals know this and they exploit that. They say, oh, they just put out a new IoT device. You know, this refrigerator is connected to the Wi-Fi and it houses uh, you know, a server that it can get into and then use that to get into other information, other spots where there's possibly sensitive information. Um, so the fact that you know, these kids kind of are exposed to this, you know, seeing like daily data breaches and things like that, um, I, I think it really puts it into perspective for them, kind of how serious this is. We have a huge talent gap, and it's only getting wider. Technology is exploding, and we need as much help as we can get. Everyone is fighting the same cybersecurity problem. And also, I think these kids are the future, and if, the sooner they're thinking about this problem, the sooner that they're going to come up with solutions that can solve the, these issues. I've always looked at Cybersecurity is more of a people problem more than a technology problem or a computer problem. I want to make the internet a safer place for my, my daughters and for my family and for all the generations to come. It's wild, wild west right now and we need more people to help make things secure so people can feel safe on the internet. The first thing I learned when I was in industry was the importance of celebrating success. So of course, when we planned this camp, we had to have a closing ceremony. We had to recognize these kids. And the families are all there. Um, we've had grandparents show up, parents, siblings, as well as the students themselves. We give them lunch and we have a nice celebration to culminate our week-long camp. I have two daughters. I love them so much. For me, what I do is hopefully going to inspire them to choose a similar path one day. And the path is to make a difference in the world we live in today. Cybersecurity is what I've chosen as a vehicle for me to make that difference. Knowing this field and being a researcher in this field, I see things every single day that just worry me about the future of the world we live in. A camp like this can inspire people and especially kids like my daughter to choose that path and to make that difference.